What's up everybody? My name is Speak. Thank you so much for stopping back by my basement. I really appreciate it. So today's video is not on a bike, uh, and you may have noticed that. We're actually uh, hanging out in my basement using uh, my pool table as a uh, filming studio platform. You can see the bright lights up behind me. You can probably see me there in the camera as well. Oh, focus, focus. Okay, there you go. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a different video today. I'm trying out uh, using my cell phone. Uh, may or may not be good. Might be a little echoey down here. I'm not sure. So hopefully it'll come out okay though. Anyway, the purpose of today's video, if you hadn't guessed it already by the title or the fact that there is a helmet sitting in front of me, is to just go over my mode of vlogging setup. So uh, let's dive right into that. So my setup may not come as too much of a surprise to you. The helmet itself is a showy RF1200 in the anthracite color, uh, and I usually run the uh, dark smoke shield there. Uh, the only other thing that sets this helmet apart, where is it? There it is right there, is my little buddy uh, Baby Groot. Hello. All right, so anyway. Um, so yeah, this, yeah, let's get this back in frame. I'm not very good at this yet, you'll have to bear with me. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this is again the Showy RF 1200. I think it's an excellent helmet. You can go out and uh, check out reviews and stuff like that on your own about the helmet. Um, I feel like it's good, obviously, to start off with a nice, quiet helmet. Um, and uh, that's not what I started with. My early Moto vlogs were uh, filmed with a Bell Qualifier with an SJ Cam. Uh, 4000 and using my cell phone to record the audio with a microphone hooked up to it so it was definitely not this setup uh, but I found the setup to work uh, pretty well um, so maybe what I'll do is just go over some quick basics and then go into a few details on that if uh, that sounds good to you we'll we'll get started with that so starting up here at the front of the helmet you're gonna see a GoPro Hero 4 Silver uh, and then here on the side of the helmet, just for comms, it's not really part of my moto vlogging setup, you're going to see the uh, Sena or Sena 10S. Um, and let's see here. Inside the helmet, um, it's going to be a little difficult to see. Let's see how we can get this in frame. How about that? Right in there, and this may not come through too well, um, I've actually got the GoPro mic tucked in there, as well as the mic for the Senna. And then, can you see that right there? You should be able to see that a little bit there. you got one of the earphones or headphones, and then the other one is going to focus. I don't know. I don't know how lighting is going to do. The other one's uh, tucked back in there. So put that back there. All right, so for my setup, um, it's pretty cookie cutter. You know, a showy helmet, um, a GoPro, a Senna, you know, there's not much to it, but I've had some compliments, people to say that, you know, my audio sounds pretty good, and um, obviously that's really cool. Is the camera gonna focus or not? What are we doing here, camera? Come on, boop. It's not gonna focus. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, so people have said that my audio sounds pretty good, and um, I appreciate you guys saying that. It, it's been a lot of iterations for me to get to this point. Um, so a few things that are kind of specific, and uh, by the way, all the links for everything are going to be down in the description below if you want to check those out. Uh, anyway, uh, so for the microphone adapter here, I'm using the Movo brand mic adapter. For the microphone itself, you can see that I have it run. Let's see if we can get this in frame. Is that going to work? There we go. So the microphone adapter comes out and I just kind of have it tucked back here just so it won't fly around or whatever. There's lots of ways that you can do this. Um, I have it run up here up the side of the helmet. Just got some gaffer tape, um, which is awesome. And then I actually have, it's going to be kind of hard to see, right? there you can actually see uh, the excess uh, cord for the mic is kind of wrapped up around the base mount uh, for the Sena or the Senna and then my wires are kind of messy here what is this I should have looked at this before I showed you guys right so there you go that was, that was a quick example there so um, I've got the extra wires for the Senna and stuff kind of tucked around here um, it's not a super clean setup there's definitely cleaner setups um, but you've got your microphone and your headphones for your Senna as well as the microphone for the GoPro that are all kind of tucked in here. Uh, some of the excess, let's see, I gotta work on getting stuff in frame. Some of the excess is right here um, behind the head pad or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then uh, the rest of the wires are just run through the helmet. Now that setup's gonna be a little bit different depending on your exact helmet and you know how you have things set up. but. 
that's kind of how I did mine. We'll put that back in frame here. So again, a Mofo brand mic adapter. I don't know if I said the brand of the microphone that I'm using, but it's actually a very cheap one. It's called a newer or a newer newer. I don't know how to pronounce it. N e w e e r. I think link will be in the description. You might want to check that. All right, so um, that's the brand of mic that I'm using, and it's actually a really cheap mic. And then I'll need bring you back over here and then that little furry thing right there is just like a furry uh, mic cover lapel mic cover again I'll put a link for that in the description as well um, that helps uh, break up some of the wind you can go to the fabric store and get get them you can buy you know pre-done ones for your lapel mics and stuff like that and they really help a lot I've also got my microphone pointing in towards the cheek pad it's not really behind it but it's kind of jammed up there just to also help break up some of the wind and I feel like it does a pretty good job now for the mount here, I'm going to actually put a link to the video. Let me see if I can get in a little closer on this. There we go. So that mount right here, this kind of weird looking material right here, that's actually plumber's putty. Um, I did a terrible job. I should have painted it, but rather I was lazy and used it to sharpie. But the reason for the plumber's putty was so I could make a mold of this kind of curve on the front here. Um, a lot of helmets are curved and angled in funny ways and, you know, makes it very difficult to get a, a mount on it, even if you're using a curved mount. So, focus, there we go. So, what I did is used masking tape across here to uh, make the mold and then was able to use double-sided um, 3M mounts to mount the putty base and then mount the little uh, GoPro mount itself. Now I'm using the J hook and then a little extended arm here. Um, and then what I do, a little trick that I do is put just a little bit of silver sharpie right there just so that you can get things lined up um, or excuse me once you get things lined up that way if you ever have to break any of this down or change something out then you've got the same angle every time um, so yeah that's um, pretty much my setup I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I forgot to tell you guys I think that that is actually pretty much it. Get back and frame you. What are you doing? All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my setup. There's really not much to it. Um, I am very happy with the setup. Um, so you can go with something like the uh, GoPro Hero 5 or 6. Um, even really the Hero 3, the 4, they're, they're all very good cameras. Um, you can uh, do your own research to see like what are the, the differences between them, uh, what's better about each camera and stuff like that. Um, I was able to get this Hero 4 uh, directly from GoPro for $199 with a one year warranty. It's a refurbished one. Um, so there's better deals than that, there's worse deals than that. Um, you know, the cameras are changing. Um, a lot of the other Moto vloggers um, have tried out the 5 and the six and stuff there's you know so you can find those videos and you know see what the pluses and minuses are with that but there's still a lot of folks out there rocking the hero 3 and hero 4 um, basic mic adapters and stuff like that well i know that today's video has been a little bit different i hope that you enjoy the big lights i hope that you enjoy me behind the camera and uh yeah if you have any questions again on, on the mode of vlogging setup or anything like that please be sure to uh, throw a comment down there and I will do my best to get back with you on that. Um, sorry about this being a little weird kind of different video here in my basement. Bright lights, camera set up like this on the tripod. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is again the first time doing that but I've had a few people ask about this so I thought it'd be fun to you know give it a shot do this type of video. I'm hoping to do some more uh, gear reviews and you know other things like that. Try to you know introduce some different things to the channel that I haven't really done before. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me on that. Does that even look like a thumbs up? It didn't. This hand looked kind of weird. I'm, I'm not. It's a thumbs up. See you see that right there? There's two thumbs up. All right, cool. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> I uh, hope to see you guys around and I really appreciate you stopping by. See ya. Um, see, now my skin just, I'm so pale, I blend in with the wall. Alright, this is stupid. Goodbye.